This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Trailblazer. It is a 2008 Chevy Trailblazer. It's got the 5.3 liter V8 two-wheel drive. Um, it was a fleet vehicle, we believe, because the Mannheim Market uh, decoder says it's a uh, uh, Fleet 1FL. And I see a little bracket around the rearview mirror, which probably means that it had like a cop light up in the ceiling is what I'm guessing. Anyway, it was somehow it became a uh, trade-in to Royal Automotive, new car dealer group here. They have Lexus and they have a bunch of stuff. Kia, Lexus, Buick. Anyway, they're a really good dealership, which is, uh, we just took it in Acadia from them. That's, uh, we just put up a couple days ago. Same type of vehicle, really clean. Uh, I've been at getting uh, requests for something that is under 10 grand. Um, that is clean and straight and runs good and has cold air. Um, it's July. That's Mexico that way. Clouds are building. It's about 107 and it's humid. We're going to get a lot of rain. This car has great air conditioning. I'm looking forward to getting in it and driving it with you so I can get out of the swamp. Um, the only thing wrong with this car is it's missing that center cap on the rear passenger wheel. Probably about a $40 center cap. We're going to sell it exactly the way it is though. Tires look like they're probably 50% tread at least, maybe a little more. Um, my job in these videos isn't to tell you that something's great. It's really to tell you what's wrong and you can discover what's right through the video and everything that we offer uh, information wise. There's tint on this window that needs to go away. We could have taken it off the detail shop, but we thought maybe you'd want that at least through the rest of the summer and then take it off. Maybe just take off the front windows. There's a little ding right here. It's a really good looking car for an 08. It looks great. Um, tires have plenty of life in them, probably at least another 10,000 miles easily. A little touch up paint would do something with that. We don't like to really do a whole lot cosmetically. We want you to see how we got it. Um, but it flew right through our inspection. I mean, this thing is somebody took really good care of this car. And usually, when they're fleet cars, that means that they get taken care of very, very regularly, which isn't real surprising. I don't even know. Oh, huh. I guess that's supposed to go like that. I don't know what that is. Oh, there it is. So what's supposed to happen here? I don't even know. Well, I wonder if that's just like a cop thing or something. I haven't seen one of those in a trailblazer before. That's got to be a cop thing. That's got to be why it's a, a fleet vehicle. I'll bet this thing pops out because I'll bet you before this had a lock on it. And I'll bet guns went in there. And this is what they just dropped back in. To fill the hole after they moved on from it. Yeah, this thing, there's a little scratch right here. A couple little tiny baby scratches there, but nothing serious. Anyway, let me uh, get some AC going here so I can enjoy that when we get in the car. I do know that the uh, tire monitor lights on, the t it's blinking, which means one of the batteries is bad in one of them. Again, that, that goes under the column of uh, go do it yourself. We'll go and we'll take it to discount tires. They'll say it's the right front or the left rear and we'll spend, I think it's $30 putting it on and it won't do it. Uh, we didn't need tire monitors forever. I like electrical tape over the top of them and eyeballs on my tires low and go put air in them. Tire monitors are so annoying. Um, Mannheim Market Report. This is 72022. There's the VIN we put it in. No transactions available. It comes up with two wheel drive V853 Fleet 1FL. So FL is fleet. So it was a fleet vehicle. Okay. Um, here's the uh, auto check. This is the history of the car 5.3 liter. There's your VIN. It's got a great score um, above the 74 high end. Um, let's see what else we got No major title problems. You'll be able to see this in a link in the ad um, No accidents no damage reported no floods none of that stuff Nothing going on there Nice and boring. I like boring vehicle history reports are awesome. So there you go That's that all right Put that down there. I'm gonna open up the hood. Is 
The hood has a little bit of a ding right here. Just, I don't know if you can see that in the video or not. And I see a little scratch, a little light scratch right there. It's a great color to hide stuff, so you kind of got to really look hard to find it. Anyway, it needs a hood prop, so I'm going to one-hand it. Looks great under here. That's a lot of motor, man. Four cylinders on each side, huh? I was surprised there was a 5.3 in this car. I know they made them, but I thought they just made them in the Super Sports, which I think is also why it's a cop car, because uh, they probably use it to chase people on the interstate. And it's silver, and I think that they used to have them in silver at Arizona DPS. That's the color they are now, too. There's the door locks. Here it looks great. That's probably the only blemish in here, seat-wise. It's right. Boom, right there. But like I said, I my kids are, I have a 20-year-old, actually a girl, my daughter just turned uh, 20 today. 722, 02 she was born. Um, and uh, we just got done with high school last year. And uh, I've been inundated by parents with uh, kids needing cars, first cars, and they're not happy having to pay, um, you know, Jesus Christ, like 20 grand for an entry level car. I need the seat belt on while I'm talking to you. There we go. So they asked me to do something. So see here, are those little brackets I was talking about. They probably, I guarantee you that there was like a light kit up here. You know, who knows if it was a cop or it was some sort of a, you know, one of the you know highway guys or whatever. Who knows? Um, tilt wheel right here, okay. Turn signals. Let's see, what else we got? Windshield wipers, it needs a windshield wiper blade. I will get that for you. That will happen on, on our dime. Let's see, does the radio work? It does. There you go. So you do have a player there that makes some music. The air is blowing nice and cold and strong. Boom, boom, boom. Rear windshield wiper. Okay. All right. Let's go for a little ride. All right. This car, let me give it some drive first. Then we'll give it some reverse. You can see it reverse. Um, I did put air in the tires just in case it wasn't a battery. How oh, it's always a battery. Um, I put 37 in each tire. They call for 35. Discount tires always put some 37 in, so I do what they do, hoping it would reset it. Maybe on this drive it'll reset and it'll go away, but I doubt it. I'm sure one of those wheels needs a uh, needs a battery. So they cost about 36 dollars at discount tires to do it if you care enough. I'd rather go out to dinner or get something cheap to eat or something. I don't think I would bother fixing that. Anyway, if you come uh, to Tucson to drive this vehicle home, you'll pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Uh, once we receive full payment by wire, we'll fill out the title with your name, your company's uh, name and address, sign it off to you, scan it into your online file, and mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in, okay? Um, you will have the vehicle shipped from here to you. Um, the title will already be in your mailbox, I'm sure, by the time the shipper gets there, before the shipper gets there. Once the shipper shows up with your trailblazer, you'll take the title and the trailblazer and motor vehicles in your city and state and get plates it's very simple if you need help with shipping let me know early um say hey uh can you roll the price of the shipping into the price of the vehicle so i can make one payment the answer will be yes and i will handle your shipping if you want to do it yourself you're welcome to uh but if uh if you need help let me know okay uh deposits five hundred dollars once we have a deposit we have a deal 
Until then, it will stay for sale, so please make sure you get your deposit in. Uh, we do not hold cars for people. Uh, we've had a couple uh, upset people lately who we came to an agreed upon price in the morning. They had to go talk to their husband because she made the offer and she got home and she turned it on and her husband's like, uh, it's sold. That's because she didn't put a deposit in, <laughs> right? So, you know, she should have called him and said, go look at it, look at it real quick and, you know, what you think because there are thousands and thousands of people on the internet looking and our prices are very low for a lot of reasons, which brings us to the last part of every video. And I say this every time, half a mile this way on this road is the auto mall. At the auto mall, you get to pay commissions for salesmen. You get to pay attendants serving scones and lattes and sandwiches and the little service bars that they have. They have a game room at one of them. They have fountains and perfect pavement. We have razor wire and a Bolivian third world, good test track for vibrations in front of our, our, in front of our place. So. Uh, we don't have all the stuff that they have to pay for. So we don't have to charge nearly as much for a vehicle as they do. They also know that if they sold you this vehicle and it broke, you come in and say, I just paid a fortune for this vehicle and a window doesn't work or the radio stopped working or a door lock isn't working or it needs an injector or the engine blew up or whatever, okay? <laughs> um, they would have to fix it or deal with you because they did make a fortune. We are saving you the money up front. We're giving you the money that we don't have to spend so that you can fix your car. We don't have the time or the people, it's me and my brother alone, to deal with everything that breaks from the day you buy it on. So we decided a long time ago to give you the money up front and you can fix your car, okay? So instead of charging you 11.2, you know, for asking 11.2 and then selling it for 10.5. This is an example. Um, we put it online for 99 and sell it for nine, all right? And you save $2,000 over what they would have done. So now you can fix your own car. And if it doesn't break, then you made two grand that you wouldn't have made over there. Now that being said, I've driven a million zillion cars. This thing is tight as a drum, really nice condition. Um, and I would be surprised if all you need to do with it for the next 100,000 miles is not put it into a lake or wreck it, um, change the oil and uh, fluids once in a while, the filters, and you'll be good for a long time. Five threes are a world famous motor that they don't break unless you break them, okay? So, I think that's about it. Um, I'm gonna have to make some room up here. And uh, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna move that guy, anyway talking to myself. Thank you for your time.